guys, I'm really excited to introduce to you a very new and fresh feature from the Vizip collaboration team. For those of you who have been using our product uh, already or have uh, seen on one of our demos, Vizip collaboration is a great way to bring a conversation, a chat to directly where your data is in ClickSense. And as you see here on the right hand side, it always gives you the overview of a trail of conversations that are always tied to a certain um, selection. Right. But the challenge that we saw is that, you know, as the conversation continues and more and more comments are posted, we would like to give those comments um, and conversation a little bit more context, a little bit more context beyond just the selections, but something that we now are calling categories. Categories in Visible Collaboration are uh, giving you the possibility to now add a tag to a certain comment that is being posted that is visible to other users and also color coded. So that means, for example, here that we can add a comment to your conversation, but also as put effectively a priority against them. So if I look at my dashboard and I decide to select, you know, a peak performance day and I say, please review urgently, I can now add a tag to this, which will classify it as high priority that is easily visible to other people. With categories, you have full flexibility of how you want them to be visibly formatted and as part of your conversation, but also what kind of categories you want to have available for the user to choose from. So in this example here, you can also create, for example, project categories. So somebody who posts a comment can also tag the relevance of a particular comment or a selection to a particular project, right? So this is, for example, another very, very interesting use case. Another interesting use case in categories is, for example, if you want to use collaboration not just for conversation or comments, but also to create a narrative and then ultimately tag it as such. So in this example here, I've created three comments. One, which is a general narrative, which I've, as I've tagged as briefing, you can send warnings, right? Perhaps highlight certain data quality issues or certain intricacies within your data model or uh, or the charts on the dashboard that you're analyzing. Or you can even use categories to highlight questions that you're posing for somebody else to quickly browse through the conversation and see what is relevant to them or not so relevant. Categories in Vizlip collaboration are active by default. So if you were to ask, add a comment, you will see here a tiny tag symbol that uh, provides you a list of uh, free available categories, or if you want to leave it empty, leave it as none. Now, with, as with everything with Vizlib, you'll have a possibility to edit those categories as well. So you gotta do is go into the edit menu, into collaboration settings, and then into categories, right? You can enable or disable them all together. But more importantly, you can now also define categories. So you can give categories a certain title, right? So for example, you can call this priority, you can rename this to urgency if this is what you prefer, but also you can leave it blank, right? So effectively, when somebody comes in and adds a comment that is, for example, medium, you will just see the medium tag there, right? Now, going forward, you always have also a lot of flexibility around formatting. So you can either decide to show it as a site bar on the left hand side or as a full background whatever is more suitable to your use case by default you will have standard categories integrated but if you will want to modify them you can do that by clicking on the switch and you see here the predefined categories such as low medium and high now you can modify them right so if i wanted to go to the medium category that i just posted i want to change the color i can easily do that and it will change retrospectively for all medium comments that have been posted. Very recommended is also, especially when you're using a uh, display mode background, to use a little bit of opacity to make it look a little bit more friendlier to the eye. If for whatever reason you want to modify the categories as per the use case I've just shown, you can easily do that by just either deleting categories or adding new ones, such as, for example, urgent that I will now, for example, highlight with red, right? So with this, you'll have the ability now to highlight 
very specific comments with the newly created category that I've just added. Full flexibility, fully tailored to your use case. And yeah, we're looking very much forward to see what creative ways you will come up with to use categories in visual collaboration. Thanks.